One second, boys. I need to wash my hands really quick and then we're gonna get started, okay? I already made the cake, I already made the frosting. Everybody knows there's your cake for reference. This cake that we won from the beautiful Peach herself. She gave it to us because we're so good at video games. And if you don't recognize the cake, you're not good at video games and you suck. And you're probably poor. Remember that. I'm going to make this look cartoon. So I've seen some online, I did research. There's not very many you can find of people who have made this cake, which is kind of absurd to me. But most of the ones that I do find online are kind of sad. They don't look exactly like it. They use whipped cream and like real strawberries and like, they're just, they're okay. I want mine to look exactly like the picture. So we are using a lot of fondant because I want this to be very cartoony. All right, so leveling this cake. It's not gonna be perfect because I don't have all my equipment, guys. I don't have like, this is a little sketch. I should not be even trying to level it on that, but I'm not really worried about it being too crooked because of the amount of fondant and crap we're gonna use. It's not even gonna be noticeable. This one might be too frozen for me to level. And I can kind of manhandle this cake right now because it is, it's frozen. Worst case, it's crooked. We just fix it with the fondant. We just, you know, add more here and there. Same with frosting. Frosting is the best leveler you can have because frosting is more forgiving than anything else. Is that mayo? No, it's frosting. Imagine, I just fill it with mayo. Yeah, for anyone who doesn't use frosting at home or doesn't have any frosting at home, feel free, feel free to just, you know, substitute it with mayo. Should be a good alternative. That's perfect, look at that guys, look how level that is. I might trim off a few here and there just to make my life a little easier. What do you do with the cake part in the bowl? So, cool things you can do with your leftover cake. You can eat them, number one. Number two, see the strawberries and the cherries on top? I'm gonna make cake pops. Those are gonna be cake pops. So any of this leftover cake, I can break into pieces. You add frosting until you get a good consistency that it's malleable, and then you make a cake pop. I don't have any piping bags in this house, so I'm gonna use Ziploc bags. I'm gonna flip these Ziploc bags inside out. This house has no Ziploc bags, so I had to find these and wash them. Um, but that is better than not having Ziploc bags, so I washed these out, but I'm just gonna flip them inside out just in case, because I don't wanna grab any flavor of anything that was in them. This frosting chat, look at it, so fluffy and perfect. All right, so I'm just gonna put this on here, you know, pretty evenly, the same amount of pressure. Well, all right, now I'm gonna use my offset spatula, and now my top is super level. When I mush down my other side, I should get um, a really nice, like anything that wasn't level, I should be good. There we go, so we always try, so the most flat part of your cake chat is always going to be the bottom of your cake, so you um, you always want your top tier to end with a butt. So we have a butt, so now we're super flat. And then any of these ledges that could potentially make it uneven, we just fill those with frosting, so it's easy, easy, easy. So especially those ledges, I'm double packing with frosting just because I don't want anything to droop later. Now we're gonna scrape some. So we have our scraper. I've talked about this before. This is the best thing you can own. Most important thing about this is tendency to like lean in and make sure you're, you're hitting something is so high. So you just have to make sure you keep just straight. Because if I keep straight, now I see that there's a gap right there. So my side isn't necessarily level, but I can level that out so easily by just filling it with frosting and keeping my edge straight. Okay, this is good. So now what I'm gonna do with this chat is I'm going to put it in the freezer um, because what that'll do is it'll harden all the butter so I can play with it and nothing will melt, nothing will gush out. All right, so I have this all crumbed, all crumbed up. I, have, I don't have any big pieces left, I don't think. Okay, so now all you do guys, so I'm see how I'm mixing in the frosting? That's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna mix it in until we get a nice, malleable. Excellent. You don't need a ton of frosting for this. Like I'm literally all the leftover frosting I can use for anything else because it was ugly is probably enough frosting. Now I just have this giant cake pop. If I wanted to turn this into a cake pop, that'd be a great cake pop. So now spill some on yourself. That's an important step. I'm gonna use this as reference chat. There's a reason I didn't put this back in the fridge. I need to know how big to make my strawberries. Well, that's a pretty good size of a strawberry, huh chat? Look at that. Ratio wise, I need to add more crumbs. This is too wet, which is so gross. Like it kind of looks like throw up, but it's like the best tasting. Like cake pops are awesome. All right, here's some fondant. Wilton makes the best fondant. I've tried every brand in the book. I've tried $80 fondant. This is $10 from the grocery store. It's the best fondant. It's easiest to work with. It doesn't dry out. It's wrapped up because if it's exposed to air, it can start drying and getting hard. It's really tough. Like. 
it's really hard to work with. So what I'll do is I'll throw it in the microwave for like three or five seconds just to warm it up so I can loosen it up a little bit. <clears throat> so I'm gonna open this, but what I'll do is I'm just gonna add a glob. Since I have so much, I'm gonna have to add probably a few globs. This is concentrated, so I'm just gonna add a few globs and then I'm gonna just have to add more until I get the color I want. Um, but this should be pretty good to start with. And then you just kind of pull it like taffy until, so some of my color will start developing until you get it all mixed in there. And if it's ever getting too dry, so if your fondant, you're working with your fondant and it's getting too dry, so it's like cracking or you can't like really do this because it's just breaking apart, adding alcohol is good or like vanilla extract, but you do have to get um, imitation vanilla extract so it's clear. So this is gonna be around my base. So I need it longer rather than short because I'm just trying to wrap it around my whole base. So I'm just gonna preemptively make it long and then with my rolling pin, I'll make it kind of wider. I wanna hear that slap the table. Oh, not very satisfying. Okay, now I'm gonna go get my cake. We can put this on the cake now, it's very exciting. Yeah, look at our cake. He's beautiful. But what I need to do is warm up this down here or my fondant will never stick. If you're in a rush, blow dryer is a great idea. I'm just gonna give it a little massage. I'm just gonna massage it. And I'm just gonna pull this. All right, now I'm gonna use these fondant smoothers. Look like those things that you see in the movies where they look. Looks like those. Now, what I can do is smooth it out even more. Ooh, ah, fixed it. Knuckle gone. Look at that, it's smooth and perfect compared to the cellulite it did have. Yeah, I'm just gonna set this cake aside and I have to roll out my white now. Real good, yeah, make sure it's the outside freezer. Yeah, they look great, oh, they look great. Look, chat, those are the strawberries. Look like chicken nuggets, yeah, they're cake pops. All right, rolling this out some more. All right, so this is gonna come like what it looks like on there, where it's like the scallops of frosting, right, chat? So all I'm gonna do is smooth it on and then cut those out. And I can always go too long on these and then take off more, but I can never add more. So that's why I'm kind of, I'm kind of gonna do a little willy-nilly on the back here, because I can't really tell. It looks so good over here, but like, like this is my best part right now. What it do, flight crew? How's your cake coming along? Uh, you know, I just had a little bit of a, uh, I got a little nervy about it. People pog. Yeah, just trying to make some of the angles just like a little more cartoony. This is a lot of fondant on a cake. I'm nervous it's going to um, collapse the cake. So I'll probably keep the cake frozen overnight because I just don't want it to collapse. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is sit my cake inside of here. Now I have a nice little divot in here. Just slowly stretching the hole. Shut up. Sorry, I'm sorry. You said it too casually. <laughs> Slowly stretch your hole, chat. All right, guys, I'm making my little um, table stand for the cake to sit on. Oh god. I'm just going to make uh, put four dowels in. All right, here we go, guys. Ready? I'm not gonna start in the front. I'm gonna start on the side. Cause my knife. I prefer to do this with an X-Acto knife, but we don't have an X-Acto knife, so. I'm gonna do what I can with what I have. Wow. Chat, this is the front of the cake. It's looking pretty good, huh? So now, we're gonna do a layer of floof on this, and then that's where we're gonna end for the night. I'm okay with it kind of copying the bottom layer, because there's gonna be that thank you sign in front of it, so I'm actually okay, and it's gonna keep it looking symmetrical. Looking great, you guys love it? I think it's pretty good. It's a little thick on the fondant, but I think that's kind of the only way to accomplish the look we're trying to go for. I plan on glossing the yellow. This gloss will, will all come back um, once it comes out of the freezer. So when it freezes, uh, fondant will sweat the next day, and when it sweats, you'll get this glossiness. So it'll be all glossy. So the first thing we're starting on are the strawberries and the cherries. We used cake pops and froze them, you remember? So what we're gonna do is dip these in chocolate so they keep their shape, which I melted some chocolate and put some olive oil in it so it has a thinner viscosity. Stick this in there and then roll it in the chocolate. There we go, that was perfect, boys. I am a Ludwig Stream babysitter and completely irrelevant without Lud and Raj. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> what? What? You read dumb shit. What do you want from me? I told them they had a small penis. Why do you have to read it to me? I don't care. You were supposed to say you're not a Ludwig reading room. You're dumb for even reading the comments. 
Hey! So I unscrewed it, so now it's empty inside. See that chat? And then I'm gonna fill it with some fondant. Like a penis. I filled it with fondant. I'm gonna mush it down. And now, just like get out any bubbles. I'm gonna screw a top on it. And now what you do is you go like this. I wanna do this part. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> it's getting harder. Well, look what's happening. Oh shit, I'm pissing. <laughs> So you have to support it, so otherwise it doesn't stretch out from gravity. It's getting okay. hard. Yeah, you gotta bring it to the table because my arm's only so long. All right, so, I'm over it. I had fun. Okay. That was fun. Thank you for your help. I helped make the cake. Yeah. Cool. That is really cool. Okay. So, okay, so it's literally, oh, I thought they were full circles. It's just a, a loop and a swirl, huh? So I'm literally starting in the middle and just doing a crisscross like this. And there's our little loop-de-loop. -loop. Use vodka when you're working with fondant is because it evaporates really quickly. And so it doesn't make it, so it's less likely to like, you know, like slide off the cake. It looks good, huh? All right, I like it. I like it, boys. All right, guys, the chocolate is all solid on these. Yay. So I'm just gonna roll some of this out really flat because we can do really thin on these berries. Um, and I like the idea of doing thin because then they're not getting too big. Now I'm just gonna take a chunk of it. And these are so frozen that it probably will be mad about sticking, so I'm just gonna grab one. And I'm just gonna warm it up in my hands really quick just to get this chocolate a little, little melty. The chocolate instantly, because I put that oil in it, warms up pretty quick. So now I have, as long as it's a little sticky, there we go, we're good. And then just take this, and then you just slowly work it. Fondant's funny, you have to start at the top. And just work your way down. Slowly like stretching it with your fingers. And there we go, and that's gonna be on the bottom so you're not gonna be able to see that anyway. But there's a strawberry. And then what I'll do, just to give it that texture, cause in that there's no seeds, they're just like bright shining strawberries. I'm just gonna go through with this. Just put little seeds on it. Just kind of random. But guys, can you see that? Yeah, we're trying to make this cake very cartoony. I'll make a real version of this maybe for like Lud's birthday because he doesn't really like overly sweet things and this is very much so overly sweet, so. All right, so if um, you look on this cake, see how these cherries have like, it's almost like an ombre. They have a little bit of yellow peeking out of them. So that's why we went with light yellow and then we're gonna use a tiny little sponge to paint them and just kind of blotch it. So I'm just going three fourths of the way chat and then I am putting down my sponge and spreading the rest with my fingers. I'm going to try to put these stems in there and see how that turns out. <gasps> chat, look at that cherry, see? Do you love it? I'm going to throw them in the freezer for just a little bit. I can't get them too frozen or the fondant will definitely break. But I'm gonna throw them in the freezer for a second and all right, she's gonna start making Mario. I'm gonna start figuring out these cherries, or strawberries, they're massive. Okay, so if I'm saying, if this is my front, and I think the thank you is gonna go there and there, my first strawberry should be right there. Okay, so there to there, and then my first strawberry. Look at that, it's huge. I think I have to cut the backs off just to get them to fit. Okay, let's hope for the best here. It actually looks really cool from this angle. Yay, we love it. Why'd people happy? This actually looks amazing. Thank you, what? Okay, my, my star is kind of adorable. <laughs> my star is on the ground. Um, it's fine, no one's eating that part. <laughs> Listen, I don't care, chat, that's where I'm at, okay? All right, I'm gonna steal one of these. Cause I do want this white. I don't think a stick will be able to hold this. And now chat, I'm just gonna make a, a glue so this doesn't fall through. Yay! Now I'm gonna paint it bright yellow. Oh, so now it's like neon. See that chat? That is crazy, the color difference there. That's necessary. Cute! Look at him! Cute! Let me, I gotta look at Mario's body really quick. He's got his pants on. Oh, he's so perfect. And look at that dumpy. Oh, yes. <laughs> he is a cutie. And look at that chat. We've got ourselves a crown. Perfect for a princess. All right, and then the crown. Let me see her in comparison to Mario. 
Oh, she's, they are so cute, chat. They are the cutest couple. Yeah. She's so cute. So we are going to do, chat, I will give you a reveal at the end. This is all you guys get to see right now, okay? It's perfect. We did it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Isn't it so cute? I love it. Oh, let's add some glitter, huh? A little final touch. Edible glitter. There we go. Can't really see it, but it looks great. I'm just so happy we did it. It's a little messy in here, but we did it. <laughs>